Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Starbound, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode I asked about the Peacekeeper missions, and I would say that there was a fairly underwhelming amount of people that said they wanted to see it. I might do a few more later on down the line, but for now I'm going to focus on the priorities of this series, which are trying to work my way to a much more difficult planet, uh, so that I can build a big old colony on a tier 6 world. I'll explain what that is later. Um, but right now what I'm going to do is the Dreadwing missions. So, to start Dreadwing, um, you know, I'm actually going to wait on Dreadwing until I'm a little bit stronger. So let's go back to my ship here and look for... What I am tasked to do, which was to head down to this lethally high levels of radiation planet. Uh, one of the advantages of coming down here is we're going to find sources of durasteel, which is going to allow me to significantly upgrade a lot of stuff. If you take a look at my forge, for instance, the next tier of forge is going to require durasteel, which will unlock the next tier of armor. So let's beam down to the orbited world and see about A, locating avian ruins, and B, uh, obtaining some durasteel. Or a mix of both. No, don't, don't wait there. Follow me. I want the backup. Alright, so the only reason we're not dying here is I do have the radiation EPP pack. Um, without that, we would be taking enormous amounts of damage. Uh, it's sort of a way to prevent you from getting somewhere too difficult too early. With all these trees, I think I'm going to take a moment and re-up my uh, timber supply because we're a little low, if I'm being honest. And these trees break easily and yield a lot. Oh, yes. Well, oh, isn't that glorious? Oh, a lot of plant fiber, too. Those types of flowers have a ton of plant fiber. Now, as you can see, the damage I take from these is a lot higher. Uh, this is the next tier planet. As you go up in tiers, everything gets more difficult. It's just game design, I, I suppose. Uh, at some point, I'm going to need to phase out these salves that I, I use. And start only with the next high up level of meds, right? It's getting to the point that the, the basic salves are maybe a little bit below what I, I need in terms of um, healing. Enjoy the bomb. <laughs> oh, that was kind of mean. Where's Sippy Shake? Did he already die? Luckily, your companions can never really die. They just get reprinted. Now, if I really wanted uh, Dura Steel, I'd probably have to be digging down, right, into the depths of uh, the planet. You know, there's generally not a lot of surface metals. Um, yeah, we're starting to obtain the next tier of uh, armor. Let's see. Uh, so here we've got him. He's selling armor that is the same quality as mine. The pants are better, though. The Explorer leg armor is the next tier if I wanted to buy it. And sure, I will. Um, let's go ahead and put them on. Raising my stats a little bit. But then, cosmetically, we're the outlaw stuff. 
Uh, this defector's chest guard is way below my level, so I'm going to walk away from that. Ooh, we got a uh, tough headband. Oh, we can look real tough with this. I'm uh, mostly joking. I don't think that's going to be looking better than my bandit hat. Yeah, I think Hippie Sheik ate it. We have a lot of random foods. In fact, I'm full. We just keep eating. Alright, so here is... Oh, this isn't a village. Passing through. Ouch. Meta Manipulator and Thorn Fruit. And more Meta Manipulator modules. I'm now at 12... Uh, I was waiting up till 24. Yeah, I'll just keep waiting. That's a thorn fruit down there. As you can see, my health is getting a lot lower than it normally would because of the difficulty increase of this world versus the previous ones that I've been on, right? Definitely got to take a little bit more care as a result. It'd be very easy to just get stumped. Uh, harmonica? Nice. And more modules. Now, one of the priorities for this series is, of course, uh, upgrading tech and meta manipulator. I mean, that was what I was tasked with. Um, the thing with the the thing with uh, technology is, I pretty much have the tech modules I need. Ouch! Cheeky, cheeky, breaky. Uh, I pretty much have the technology modules that I want already unlocked. Um, I like the Aquasphere, I like the Multi-Jump, I like Sprint. Oh, here we are. Avian Dungeon here. I wonder how much they hit for. Probably quite a bit more now. If it were somewhere dangerous. There is a significant amount of the avian artifacts that I needed to scan. And as you can see, Esther is very pleased by this. I'll have a bearing on my research, she says. Again, because I am, I don't have any Durasteel, um, these enemies do a lot of damage. Uh, so all of the objects that you see me scan right now, if I was diligent um, with a very long list of things to collect, I could have potentially just grabbed all of these scan objects and um, when it came time, you know, when I found them in the past. Oh, ow. When it came time to do this mission, I could just go ahead and put them down and scan them, right? It doesn't actually have to be part of a temple. You just need to scan the object, and it doesn't really matter where the object came, came from. Not necessarily. I always found that part of, the thi part of the thing that makes this game fun is the exploration factors. Um, so I find it more fun to have to explore like this, but... Uh, you know, if you feel differently, of course, you could always collect these, all of these scan items and then have them at the ready when you need them. <sighs> Gotta say, that is pretty underpowering.
Anything new to scan? No. Dang, I am so full, I'll just keep eating. Uh, what do I have here that's tasty? I was mango juice for a speed boost. Run boost. Ouch. Don't do it. Now, as soon as I get enough Dura Steel and I upgrade my forge, this gets a little bit easier. Um, so there is a fair argument to say that I should be hunting Dura Steel more than really anything else. Oh, okay, we get a one-handed grenade launcher and a one-handed pistol. Um, as of course the Dura Steel, once I had it, I already know that. Uh, once I had it, it would allow me to. Um, Tank or a little bit better, so on and so forth. And do more damage. But then one of the advantages of uh, clearing out a ruin like this is there's the possibility of me uh, finding better weapons, right? You can also make make weapons, but in my experience, the weapons that you find are going to significantly uh, be significantly better than the ones you, you, you make, bearing some special circumstances. Now I'm going to continue scanning this temple here. I just wanted to sidetrack for some silver. You know, you know how it is. All right, let's run around with our scanners out. So I think I fully explored one direction of this temple, and now we just have to double back and explore stuff I uh, I left behind. It's also possible that this temple doesn't have all the uh, the necessary artifacts, and I'd have to find an avian village rather than this um, dungeon. Definitely running low on salves, too. I feel like such a rogue. Sorry, Clue X. Not gonna happen. Alright, I believe I might be out of clues over here. Unless there's some secret stuff I don't know about, but I think we've gone from corner to corner and not we're sort of out of things to find. Uh this one hander is three speed, two or seven damage. Yeah, it's pretty soundly better than this dagger I had on. So where's my old dagger? Here it is. Back at sold, sold, sold. So this is the next tier of healing. Restores 100 health in over one second versus the bandages, which is 50 over one second, and then the medical packs, which is 50 over 10 seconds versus the salve, which is 50 over 10 seconds. So, uh, or 100 over 10 seconds. So soon I'm gonna be upgrading or changing my salves to medical kits and my bandages to nano wrap weaves. I like to try to use up the lower level, the lower tier uh, healing equipment, you know, until I move up or before I move up. Um, oh, I had the wrong weapons. 
Awkward. All right, as you can see, my, my DPS is already higher with that new, new blade. It's putting out definitely more damage. Which is useful because I felt a little underpowered in that last fight. So let's see what's over here. Almost done with the salves. Here's our barracks, bedrooms, and that's enough scanning. Now, I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, that I am in no way powerful enough for the next boss. Not without a lot of potions. Yeah, you know, I just don't have the the means to win that. Um, so it's going to be best for me then to. Like, if these little guards here are almost beating me up, that's a pretty clear indicator. Um, now that I have two pistols, let me see if they're any good. Oh, yeah, they might be. All right, let's break on out of here. See about getting ourselves some dura steel because that quest is done. Wolf's cave is just a whole bunch of clay and copper. All right, I want to go over to the Pix Pixie Village, which is just east of me, or to the right, or whatever. Um, oh, here's some dura steel. So I'm going to need a ton of it. I'm probably going to need, uh, I'll put the ballpark at like 80 to 100 or so. So I don't need to get it all in this one trip. Oh, and we have a, uh, oh. we've got one of those uh, mazes over here too. Oh, hey, we have fossils. So let me, uh, let me demo that as well, because I said I would. I do have a master brush. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to succeed, but the way this would work is you grab your brush and um, hello there we go uh, so now with the brush here here is my progress um, so the master brush gives you more tools to try to uncover the um, uncover the artifact so what we're doing right now is just brushing away the dirt and then I have to use the tools at my disposal to break away the rock um, where we have to plan out how it cracks, right? So I have this tool here um, where, you know, it's a, this is the shape that it breaks, right? So I could like break this or break this. What you have to make sure is to not break where it is a, um, where some of the fossils are, right? So I have uncovered five-ninths of this. Let's use this tool here, maybe. Like this. Seven-ninths. And boom. That is a fully uncovered fossil. And it's floor and legs. And what you're doing is you're looking to complete basically a set. So now I have the floor and legs fossil. Um, and, you know, if I got the rest of it, I could create, you know, a... Uh, ooh, junk food. Good, good, good. I love junk food. Uh, you could create, you know, sort of a, a set for your fossils. Um, it's a way to gather collections. And then if you didn't want to do that, you could just break the fossils down for bone. I just wanted to demo uh, what fossils look like. So let's get to this door. This portal. All right, challenge portal. Oh, hey, hippie shape.
I just don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Probably not getting shot is the right answer. Which it seems to be what I'm really, really good at. So there's some screens that I need. Oh, and I just ran out of my traditional salves, so let's put the medical packs in there. I'll just tank it. Uh-oh. I'm low on health. I'm really low on health. All right, let's stop tanking like this. Here's a chest. We have a jump augment that allows us to jump higher. When we put that in a uh, EPP. Alright, and then the last console that I need to grab is over here. I've been doing an absolute terrible job of not taking damage. But I can just keep eating my uh, medical supplies. Okay, one-hander axe, two modern manipulators, and pixels. Ouch, is all I have to say. Ouch. That was maximum tankage. All right, taking a look at my ore here. Uh, where's the ore? We've got... Sort. Uh, we got uh, 10 Durasteel ore. Now again, I don't have to collect all of it in one go. It's not necessary to collect all of it in one go, but, um... This is the pixie... I, I forget the actual formal term for this, but I, I really like these, um... This biome. Um, you've got these little mini pixie towns. I think they're called pixie. I could be wrong. But it, it allows you to very, very quickly obtain a ton of Durasteel. Um, just because the town is well lit and um, full of ores. I'm still going to collect a little titanium here and there too. You do have these guardians. Um, who don't take too kindly to our trespassing. And they're pretty tough. But this biome's always been, I've always found... To, uh, to really help out in the acquisition of uh, ores, just because of how much you can see. You know, because imagine if the, this was all dark, I wouldn't really see where to go. And uh, even though there is pixels in breaking down the buildings, I kind of like to leave them. You know, I don't need pixels all that much. I'm not poor in that way. So, I'll leave him alone. Just go after the Durasteel. And you can scan these, you know, and your character will talk about how strange it is. Sorry, lights out. Alright, let's keep track of roughly how much I have here. So now we're rocking a 63. I'll probably go for like 100 or so. Given this uh, this pixel village, uh, I definitely want to make the most out of the wealth that's here. Oh, I just double backed. That's okay. Because there's an abundance here that won't be offered on most other uh, 
biomes and planets. And this is the end of the Pixel Village. And the start of a different microbiome. Now, every ore can be turned into pixels uh, through the, um, the refinery. So just because you don't need, let's say, gold or silver, doesn't mean it doesn't have value. You can always melt your ores down into uh, straight, you know, refine it into straight resources. All right, I am now at 116. Uh, let's do one more quick pass, because it would be nice not to have to do durasteel mining again, if possible. And this beautiful village here might offer us that opportunity. If I get a lot. I can feel the reach of my um, mana manipulator being a, a bit of a limiting factor, but not enough so that I'd feel like I need to uh, upgrade it right now. But obviously I haven't really upgraded its reach at all, mostly because I value mining speed and, uh, and size more. Sorry, Guardian. I know, I'm looting. Thanks, hippie. Yeah, we are lining our pockets with this. Okay, I have no idea how far of a drop that is. I don't want to take that drop. Hey, no, no, you don't. Get out of here. I like these pistols. It kind of fits the whole Nova Kid Wild West theme, too, I suppose. Okay, so we've got almost 200. That's a pretty healthy amount. I'm going to work my way out now. Yeah, these pistols are pretty uh, pretty good for my current level and tier. Okay, out we're going. Is this the one? That, no, this is not. Out. Hey. I don't believe this is the one we did. So let's have a snack and go to the portal. It's interesting to see two portals so close together. Alright, so there's a lot of chests here. And pretty tough enemies. Of course, the lovely lava. Which Hippie Shake is going to demonstrate for us that it is dangerous. Sorry, buddy. You just... Just an easy target. Yeah, look. Oh. And... I have died. For the first time. I couldn't uh, get out of the lava in time. Um... Well, when you die in those challenge arenas, it's not like a normal death. Normally, when you die, you ditch 
you like drop all of your inventory, at least on my difficulty. On easier difficulties, this isn't true. Um, normally you would um, drop your entire bag full of stuff and lose it. Uh, and then you'd have to go back for it. You'd have to go find it again and, and uh, pick it back up. Uh, and in those challenge arenas, you just it just do drops out, right? So um, I haven't actually lost anything as a result. Which means, you know, again, I technically died, but it wasn't a typical death. It was like a, uh, a reset or something. Okay, so we've got some junk food, rotten food that rotted. Let's put, uh, ooh, we have a new cotton seed. I guess I'll put that down, even though it's not really in order. And that's all my seeds put away. A bunch of this stuff is probably going to rot at some point. So, um, the Durasteel. Right, right, right. The Durasteel. Let's go first smelt down all our other bars. And then get 91 Durasteel bars. Now, as you can see, I'm also going to need to chase things like, uh, well, I'm going to be able to make the glass of volatile power. Volatile power is, um, I've got plenty of those reagents just in my stash. Because that would be core, uh, core fragments. And let's see. Glass. So what was it? 10 volatile power? And five glass. And then the furnace is now upgraded to an atomic furnace. That's the top tier where I'm going to be able to smelt everything. Next up, the forge. So as you can see, the forge here is saying, hey, I want silicon boards, copper wire, and batteries. Um, if I go here, as you can see, copper wires, batteries, and... Uh, Silicon boards are all craftable. The problem here, of course, is that batteries require poison. And uh, I don't exactly have any poison right now. Um, so I'm going to skip that one for now, just because I lack the resources. But I can go in search of poison soon. Uh, the foraging table, silicon, ba okay, batteries once again. That's fully upgraded. This probably requires batteries as well. So I think what I need to do is be in search of poison, right? That that seems the common thread here. Uh, poison is a liquid that you can collect with the matter manipulator if you have the upgrade for um, liquid collection, which I do. Oh god, I don't want that much chocolate. I wouldn't have space for it. I'm just making all the uh, the foods I have on me into stuff before they rot. Now if I wanted to uh, if I wanted to uh, make more brushes and get that stuff I could. Um, so let's see if wow I just harvested you silk didn't I? I'm pretty certain I did. Pretty certain I did, indeed. Alright. Alright, so there is a toxic world here. Toxic worlds are going to be my best bet for obtaining poison. So let's head over to the toxic world. And I'm just going to preemptively make uh, some of the other reagents I need for the upgrades. the silicon boards and copper wire. All right, coming into the toxic world. I think I would be well served to maybe free up some space here as well. 
So I'm going to dump uh, all my green reagents in here. Actually, I could do all of them. I don't really need any of this carrying with me. That frees up a whole lot of space. For my sort of building materials, a lot of the stuff I just don't even, I'm not even going to really worry about, you know, I could just delete it. It doesn't really hold value, per se. Okay, uh, beaming down. And I think you can see that collecting poison is not going to be so much of an issue here. I'm going to get poisoned from the poison rain. I don't need too much of this stuff, but I'll collect enough that uh, I'll not need to return to a, uh, a toxic world for a bit. Alright, that should be fun. Hippie, how are you still on fire? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that challenge dungeon was bad, but... I don't know if it's eternal amount of fire bad. Alright, so now that we have that, uh, we should be able to make the batteries that we need. So batteries are going to require copper wire gold bars. That I have. One and two. How many batteries do I need? Let's see. One battery. Um, two batteries at least. Maybe three, three batteries, something like that. Okay. And then this upgrade here is dirt steel bars and silicon boards. So I got the boards. Well, I might not have enough boards. I might need to make some more. So that's going to require coal. And it seems to me like I'm going to uh, probably be in need of mining up some coal, which is actually a really, really, really simple resource to find. But I'm uh, that's where my bottleneck is. So this is a replicator. It is sort of tech technically your top tier replicator, but it does get better than this. Um, believe it or not, it does get better than this. Um, you, I also got the cooling and heating EPP upgrades. Uh, as you can see here, the heating one requires a Scorch Core, and I get Scorch Cores off of my Fluffalo, uh, which is why I got a Fluffalo. So I have the Scorch Core for the heating EPP already. I don't need it yet because I'm not going to go to Hot Worlds. And then the last one is the cooling EPP, which requires a bunch of, um, it requires the heating EPP and also a bunch of other resources as well. Um, and as you can see, we've got uh, new armor here, sheriff's hat, sheriff's slacks, and sheriff's vest. Um, but, alright, continue up the upgrades. You want three more silicon boards. Okay, I'm just about out of coal, but we should have enough. So one of the advantages here is I'm going to be able to make a sprinkler. And a sprinkler is a way to automatically water your farms without having to um without having to have a watering can. As you can see, it just sprays out in a pattern. I believe it's, what, a 15 wide spray, if memory serves. I'd have to look that up, because I don't have it memorized. Well, actually, I could probably just... No, it doesn't even tell you. Cool. But yeah, um, they are an infinite source of, uh, of water, too. You, you know, they don't run out or whatever. Uh, and then the last one was for the apothecary. Three silicon boards and two more wires. All right, let's get copper for the wires. And this is one of the reasons why you'd want to continually collect even low tier ores. Um, because they still come into play even later. So now we have the medical station which allows us to make the higher tiered um, medical supplies. Bandages, medical wraps, still salves too, if we needed the salves, but uh, you know, the, the whole list. All right, I would say at this point, let's grab my leather. 
How many Durasteel bars do I have left? I have a bit. So, Sheriff's Hat. Slacks. And I have enough silk for the vest, too. And yes, I know I already have uh, slacks in my tier, but I want these Sheriff's ones. Uh, so let's go get the silk. There it is. And because I was... Um, I preemptively made moth traps and, you know, all that stuff. We haven't needed... Um, you know, I've... I made sure I've been pretty well supplied. Okay. So here we go. The sheriff's hat. I think I'm going to need to go to town. Actually, you know what? I don't even like the way that looks. It's too big. Too goofy. What about the slacks? And... The armor is okay. Okay. So I, I like the sheriff's stuff with the bandit hat. That seems aesthetically pleasing to me. Let's go to the uh, store and sell off some of this additional stuff because I have very little space for more equipment. And then I can go to Esther. I don't necessarily, it doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to jump into the next fight, but I could at least talk to her. So let's see. Damages here. Oh wow, that is terrible comparatively. Rate of fire seven seven. Oh, this is just a rapid fire machine pistol. I un I understand. Um, I guess I'll keep the jump augment. It's worth a ton, as you can see. It's worth ten thousand pixels, but um, I might want it. Uh, this staff I gotta say has been well. It has slow zone as a secondary. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep it. But I'm going to sell some of my older equipment. Sell the harmonica. Uh, the floor and leg fossil. I'll put that away somewhere. Flares. Okay. That's a fair amount to sell. And I haven't necessarily found the big eight bus. Like I, I haven't found even an ape town. Um, you find them more like on cold planets, though. Hey, hippie shake, you're still on fire, huh? And I just saw that one of my crew members changed their name back. Uh, we just lost one. That's kind of uh, annoying, if you ask me. So the next big things I'd have to make are the the better EPPs, right? So another battery and a Scorch Core goes into that. I guess I'll talk to uh, Esther at the Ark. I shouldn't have teleported down like that. That's not where I wanted to go. Alright, Ark Ruins. Really do look like a little bandit, don't I? Alright, and then she's gonna tell us where we can find the avian artifact in the mission details. And she gave us a teleporter core this time, not a matter manipulator module. So we do have the coordinates now if we wanted to get the next artifact. Where have we already been? Okay, we're leaving the toxic planet.
Now, if I wanted to make a lot of synthetic material, I would need a lot of coal. So that's kind of a bottleneck. But the synthetic material is one of the materials for nano wrap bandages, which is some of the best medical that you can get. This is a... Another planet. Alright, let's fill our bellies with... Uh... Right, this rotten poultry, I'm just going to throw away. Okay, and this is a pretty good stopping point for me. So, uh, what do we have yet to do? We have the avian artifact to fetch, and then perhaps maybe trying to find an avian town to add crew members to our ship so that we can increase the ship's size. If you have any feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below. Thank you so very much for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell.